Hi, I'm Mark Luthold and we're mixing a glaze today. Uh, this is a very important part of ceramics because you may not want to always use glazes that come from jars. Mixing your own glazes is much cheaper than buying commercially prepared glazes. And also you have the potential to create a more personal palette rather than easily recognizable popular glazes. Having more unique glazes gives you your unique palette. Glazes usually contain several universal ingredients. They tend to contain silica or silicaceous materials. That's a glass-like material. There's usually some kind of clay in the glaze. And in this case, we have EPK kaolin, which is the primary ingredient of porcelain. And we have bentonite. Both, both of those are clays. And in this case, our flux is frit 3134. The final ingredient is usually some kind of colorant. In this case, we're using deep crimson stain, but often in many of the glazes, we're using oxides, such as cobalt or copper or iron manganese. This is not the actual scale that you're going to be using. You're going to be using one in the glaze mixing room. And that has some peculiarities that I wanted to go over with you, and I will in just a moment. There are a couple of things that you need to know before you begin your work. A thousand grams equals one kilo. One kilo is roughly equivalent to 2.2 pounds. The other thing that you're going to need to know is the maximum capacity of this scale is 610 grams. We have a 500 gram weight here. And this goes to 100. And this goes to 10. So that's the maximum capacity. 610 grams is not very much. Sometimes you need to increase the capacity of the scale, often to 1,000 grams. These additional weights will enable you to do that. All you have to do is add them onto the scale, onto these little hooks here. On both of these larger ones, it says one kilogram, and then it says 295 grams actual, OK? Now, what that means is that the actual weight of, this, of these objects is 295 grams. But when you place either of these onto the scale, it takes 1,000 grams to displace this 295 gram object. This one it requires 500 grams to displace it, and the actual weight is 147.5 grams. Okay, So when you place this onto the hook on the scale, you're increasing the maximum capacity by 500. Here you're increasing it by 1,000. Here, 1,500, and here, 2,000. The first thing you've got to do before you weigh anything is you have to zero out the scale. That means that this arrow will be pointing to the zero. Now, in order to do that, you have to move all of these weights of the, from the triple beam to zero. When you do that, it's not going to line up right. And the adjuster on the end here does not fix it. So unfortunately, we have to adapt. In essence, when you set the scale for two and a half grams, you're going to be at zero. So for example, when you want to measure 600 grams of Frit 3134, you're going to be measuring 602 and a half grams. So this scale zeroes out at 2.5 grams. Be careful when you set this at 500. A lot of times, you'll want to just sling that over to the end, and you'll think that's 500 grams, but it's not. It's actually a little bit more. So you'll want to back off there and make sure it gets into the groove. Before you mix your glaze, you're going to need a couple of items. And the first item you're going to need is the actual glaze container of the glaze that you're going to mix. You're going to need another clean bucket. It must be immaculately clean. And then you're going to need the glaze recipe. You're going to need the scoop, a paper towel, a dust mask. And you're also going to need the sieve. Use the coarse sieve so, to make life easier for yourself. 